What well, actually is unstable rate? All right, so think of accuracy as like how many 100s, how many 50s, and how many 300s you get, right? That can be all over the spectrum because you can be getting tapping super early for a 50, tapping somewhat early for a 100, tapping on time but slightly early for a 300, typing slightly, slightly late but still okay for a 300, tapping late for a 100, and tapping super late for a 50, all right? It's a spectrum. That's what you see in the bottom, uh, at the bottom of the screen, all right? Pay attention to this bar. That's literally what this bar means, all right? If it's to the left, it's early. If it's to the right, it's late, right? But this measures is a measurement of, let's say, uh, accuracy, all right? Scientific term, accuracy, all right? What it doesn't measure for is precision. Precision is how close your hits are together, right? If you're tapping super early, all right, so you're getting all 50s, but all of your hits are condensed together, all right, you're still technically playing to the music because if you're playing to the music, you should have high precision. What matters is that you're just tapping overall early. And that is what unstable rate is. Unstable rate is a measurement of how precise you are. It's hard to it's it's hard to uh, to describe what a UR is like, oh, is 225 UR is a good or what, what's a good UR to, to shoot for? Because it really varies from like song to song, right? But as like a sort of foothold, if you can get under 100 unstable rate, then you're good for, for playing um, hard rock because that requires a lot of good, really good unstable rate in order for you to consistently get, get high accuracy plays. What do the 300s and 100s on the right side of the score screen mean? This, these are Katsus. So, um, it's the last object of a combo. Let's find a stream of objects. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So this is a combo four and then a new combo combo five all right the last object if you get a 300 on it that's the 300 you see on the right hand side if you get a what's called a 100 on this last combo which is this slider then you get a katsu no one cares about it isn't it new combo i thought it was at the end maybe i'm completely wrong i could be completely wrong It tells you how many combos in the map your 100s landed on right. I see. So wait, the lower the UR, the better? Yes. The lower the unstable rate, the less your... All right, so let me give you an example of a really bad unstable rate. This is an example of bad unstable rate. Take a look at the UR bar at the bottom and look at how wide it is, okay? Okay. All right, let's take a look at this, all right? 273 UR, meaning that my overall hits, all right, are all over the fucking place, all right? All over the place, all right? The average, all right, is 273. I don't know what that average means, but it's greater than 100, and that's bad. So, let's get a good unstable rate play. Anime. All right, this should be good. All right, we have 87 UR. You see how all of my hits are all condensed into like a needle, all right? Sure, some of the hits are outside of it, but most of my hits are all within this little tiny tube centered around the middle, all right? Because this is a really good unstable rate. Anything under 100 is really fucking good.
all right that's what an unstable rate is technically speaking your unstable rate can be like i don't know 120 and as long as all of your hits are centered around the middle you'll all get 300s but if you have greater than that i'd estimate like greater than 120 unstable rate and all of your hits are centered around the middle meaning you have perfect timing then you're going to start dropping 100s on the outer regions of your hits that's what it means Your unstable rate is your ability to tap to a metronome. And if you are, uh, and the lower the unstable rate is, the more precise you are on, on hitting to that metronome. That metronome being every single object in the map. What's your lowest UR record? I have no fucking clue. I think the world record for the lowest unstable rate is like 47. Try to get a map with uh, both uh, only 50s, both late and early, to see the UR skyrocket. I'll have to try for that. I just play Happy Synthesizer. But let me show you an example, all right? You can get bad accuracy, but a really good unstable rate. Check this out. What was that map that I just played? Well, this is good as well, all right? All right, let's try this. Fuck, that's way too early. All right, maybe if I made it late. Uh... Actually, I hope this is good enough. No, actually, no. I think this will still work. All right, this isn't supposed to be working. Hold on a sec. <clears throat> Let's try this way. How am I still tapping on time? Is this the fact that I'm not a rhythm player? Oh no. All right, well, you guys get the point, all right? My, my unstable rate is still really fucking good, right? But even though the unstable rate is good, the fact that I'm hitting all of my hits late 
means that I'm still dropping accuracy, right? Overall, my precision is still good. My accuracy is bad because of, uh, because I'm tapping late. That's it. So yeah. What's the best universal offset? The fact that you asked that question means you should never touch it. Do not touch universal offset. If you have any basic understanding of what an offset is, you would never ask that specific question.